I'm not the I boss. Mean, I, don't know. I mean, there's. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> yeah. Talk to that dude. All but, right, you're good. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, even like ledge trapping again, that's going to be contingent on like your attacks and your grabbing. So, sure. uh, it, it's cool that in this game, they they try to make everything diverse. They try to make things not too polarizing. Characters are good because they do a lot of things, right? And even even the kind of the quote unquote bad characters do a lot of things, maybe just not as efficiently. Right. But then that means if you're a good player, if you understand the global mechanics well. You can circumvent that that disparity there. So I yeah. love that. Really early on in the game, it does feel like pretty much every character can hang. Obviously, that changes as the game develops, as things move on. So I don't want to make right. it sound like there's it's totally flat in terms oh, of balance. Oh, of course. Yeah. But there are very few characters that you can't compete at a high level with. And uh, I think you're seeing that in the just sort of the variety of characters yeah. that we're seeing right. across the board in this game. Yeah. I mean, like, look at look at Inkling, character that everybody was like, oh, this character's busted, nobody's going to be able to beat it, Super Strong Zero said that the only way to beat Inkling was with another Inkling, mm -hmm. and you're not seeing Inkling play to that level. No. Like, Armada is out of the tournament, Cosmos is still in winners, right. um, and then, like, other Inklings, Dire, losing the Larry Lur earlier, yeah. I feel like this game has a lot left to explore. Oh, absolutely, and I'm, I'm so excited about that. Of course, you know, early metagame, everyone feels like they've got to figure it out. And then we all just get hit with all, you know, all yeah. the new tech. So I love that this game is in that kind of stage, and we're just seeing a lot. But anyway, we're going to run the game one here: Light versus Dark Wizzy, one on my light group. Yeah, Light, another high C for this tournament. He was actually number five, one of the players to watch early on in Ultimate. Guy won uh, the New York XL tournament way back when, maybe like a month ago. Right. And at that tournament, Tweet got fourth. Tweet kind of uh, coming alive later on, but he got. So many good placements, and that's why he is here today going up against Dark Wizzy on Lilac to start off. Yeah, good movement right there. Light going for those cross up nares is going to be something that's going to be very, very strong in uh, virtually any matchup Fox is playing. That nair receiving. Amazing buffs. Combos and uh, imagination. Yeah, basically. Just a lot of buttons. Yep. And it's kind of interesting because I remember back in Smash 4, it was always the conversation of, all right. Larry's good, but Light, like, it felt like Larry was the better player, but Light was the better Fox player, if right. that makes sense. Like, oh, it's yeah, a really I agree. weird thing to say, but now it seems like an ultimate, Light is kind of the guy to watch, and Larry's more on the back foot, I would say, in terms of, you know, his exposure, how much he's winning. Well, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, I know even Larry was saying to too, it feels like this uh, Fox really fits Light's play style. Right. And so he's like, really excited to see what, what Light's going to be able to do. But of course, I mean, Larry's hanging on there, and this is the first Super Major. So both these guys and winners, uh, Larry just uh, winning his match against Dyer in a very, very dominant fashion. So I'm really excited to see what uh, Light and Larry are going to be able to do through the course of this tournament. Looks like Light very comfortable as that one stock lead on Wizzy. But Wizzy is a phenomenal player, can get Light off stage and maybe take off that stock. He has the tools to do it between yep. Flood, between Cape, all those things. But Light just. Oh boy, he is yeah, he, he's unrelenting. Easy. The pressure never stops with this guy. Yeah, he he just loves to hit you, hit you, and keep hitting you. Looking at a JV3, and on somebody like Dark Wizzy, that's not easy to do. Not at all. If he just gets an up smash, oh good parry, and wow. he got a leak. Yep. I hate that move. Yep. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> he neared his shield, he got parried, and he still was able he to dipped. roll away. He's like, I'm out. That's insane. Oh my god. Wow. Here we go, Dark Wizzy trying to string something together. Good up air. Ah, uh, yeah, did, did he believe. wanted the air dodge, yeah. yeah. He wanted Light to air dodge down to the platform, but Light not giving it to him and instead giving him that two stock as he defeats Dark Wizzy game one on Lilac. Yeah, man, it's, that's, that's a rough one, man. He did not allow him to really play. He wasn't able to get anything really started with those platforms either, whereas Light was getting, so many strings. Got him on the side of the ledge. Was able to ledge trap him fairly consistently. Yeah. And Dark Wizzy could not find a way out of that corner. And that's, of course, in fighting games, man, the longer you are in that corner, the higher chance you have of losing. Sure. And that sounds very, very simple, but that means that you have to figure out what you need to do to escape before you even get close to that corner. Right. And Wizzy has not been able to do that. And because of that, 
light is moving on. Or you just get pushed in a bad spot over and over and over. Right. And when that happens, you're going to take more and more kind of residual percent. Jesus! Oh my gosh. Making him regret this counter pick instantly. And exactly. I know a lot of people instant ban. It happened again! Yep. A lot of people yes. instant exactly. ban. Exactly. A lot of people instant ban uh, Battlefield against Mario. But Light showing us why it may not be the best option against Fox because he knows what's up. Exactly, man. This goes back to what uh, we were talking about in our previous set. You got to look at what is good for your opponent as well. Yeah. This allows him to essentially just run away, get easy damage. And if you feel like you're having trouble at landing those uh, combos that are going to make these platforms worthwhile, concede them. Oh, oh my gosh, but concede that life. Beautiful <laughs> stuff by Dark Wizzy. He doesn't go off stage, doesn't force the issue. He has that awesome stock there. He gets the kill with that board smash, and now he's in a very good spot. So long as he avoids that Nair kill confirmed, yeah. he should be able to get a lot of free damage off on Light here. True. Now that is something that's really great about the stage. Of course, that's going to be a very thin edge. So that's going to allow him to get some of those two frames easier. I just put that hitbox out there. Sometimes in situations, hitting them before even uh, getting that two frame uh, in vulnerability. Or that vulnerability, rather. It sucked for uh, Wizzy there, actually losing his jump, trying to air dodge back to the stage, but he wasn't able to make it. I think that was a crucial error on his part because he did have a pretty significant percent advantage. Doesn't seem to matter too much, though. Yep. Yeah, oh you my can't gosh. do that. Yep. You can't do that. Yep, not on this stage. Oh. Ooh. Okay. That's something we don't see a lot because foxes don't need to do it. Yeah. I love the uh, the presence of mind there from Light to use that option rather than just go for the side beat back on stage. Sure. There we go. Excellent up smash from Dark Wizzy, who is now almost a full stock ahead. Okay. Oh, there. gosh. Yeah. He has to do it early. Yep. That's the only way. Good call there by Wizzy. He goes for a dash attack. Trying to catch that, uh, that ledge grab. Of course, that air dodge through. 7% almost eats the forward smash, but lands with that aggressive down air. Yeah, very, very lucky in that scenario. The Wizzy has to play on his back foot now. He has to play very safe, or that will happen. Oh, my goodness. And that's the craziness of Fox. You see him dashing back and forth, utilizing that dash dance, using those double jumps, that fastball speed, you know, really mixing up what options that Fox would be looking for at the time, and then finally it lands with that Nair. And best believe you get hit by that, and smash is coming next. Light fighting his way back. Was he not able to get those ladder combos that he's looking for? That's definitely why he picked the stage. True. Instead, he's getting knocked in the air by Light himself. Has to air dodge away from the stage, but he's able to make it back to the ledge just oh, fine. And yeah, get back, man. You ain't leaving here. Get back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. God, that hitbox, man. He had his hitbox extended because of the down air, right. but it looked so just off because yeah. of how far he was up. Good stuff by Light challenging that and bringing it back. Dark Wizzy was up almost an entire stock, but Light just phased right through him. Yeah, well done. Yeah, it's so funny sometimes in this game when you have those uh, those those last screens, right, and you have the flash, and because you, you're, you've already been hit, sometimes it just looks like you just got hit by a mile away, but of I course, know. hitbox extensions, all those kind of things happen. But you, didn't, you just never see that. You just you see someone in a huge gap, and then someone got hit, and they died. I don't know if you've seen the clip on Twitter, but uh, A-Star had a clip of him getting a kill with uh, Bowser Jr. Yeah. But he got it by jumping out, so the camera focused on Bowser Jr. out of his car with nothing happening around him. <laughs> yeah. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. It was so funny. Oh, man. So right now, Light already starting off strong, 118% on Dark Wizzy in just 20 seconds. The damage output is unreal. Yeah. Wow. Wizzy had to go for that. Yep, pressure. Bear hits him offside stage. Both these guys respecting each other, nobody wanting to hit a button. Yep, absolutely. Of I'll course. Just go back to neutral, but Light does have stage position. Oh, man. Look at that movement there from Light. Easy Bear, gonna hit him offside stage. Good use of that super jump punch. Not snapping to the ledge, instead hitting Light off, making his way back safe. Oh, oh, yeah, he's man. scared. He's yeah, yeah, scared. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're done. I think he tried to tech, and because of that, he didn't hit the ground. Yep. Lost his life. And it's one of those weird things because Ooh, if, what you tech, if you tech, like, downward in that way, it gives your opponent more time to react. So exactly. I think he tried to hit the ground immediately, and so he air dodged off stage. Wanted the air dodge through for that board smash. True. Bad read on that, though. Yeah, it didn't happen. And that's kind of the... The scariness, unfortunately, it seems like Dark Wizzy has been going for like a lot of these like big reads rather than kind of going for these uh, just simple, soft 
combo interactions and getting a get also 50-50, something that really lowers his chance of failure. I think he feels forced to do it. Like, he feels forced to go for these Hail Marys yeah. because he knows that Light is kind of blowing him up when it's, you know, on True. even footing. I mean, you're on game three, right? Absolutely. You feel like you have to make a play to get yourself back in the game, both, like, physically and mentally. Oh, nice. Excellent. Empty jump. Forcing the shield again oh, and so again. Good. good. Forward smash there. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Goes right through him with that. With these guys trying to find their in. Light just needs a Nair up smash or just a raw up smash. That's yeah, why fine not? too. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Gets him on the last stock here. Good back here. And just okay. light and so. Those, here comes a change. Oh, yep. This is so ugly for Wizzy. Oh. You get hit by one, you get hit by four. Yeah, and he cannot get back down. And man, now this guy is just freaking. <laughs> he's feeling himself. He knows yeah, he's yeah. up 2-0. He's got an extra stock. Just hit the whoosh on him. Oh, oh, that's the whoosh. That's what he needed. Yep. But he's got to do it again. Yeah. Oh, wait. We're on battlefield. Okay. Okay, yeah. To start. That's what he needs, though. He needs that ladder combo, taking him all the way to the top and getting that super jump punch for the kill. Let's see if he can make it half. It goes for oh, back, throw back throw instead. Interesting. Yeah, instead of oh. like down throw or up throw. Yeah. That's what I was expecting. Oh, man. And misses that conversion. And that was super huge. That was probably. The hit that could have changed and potentially put him on the board. Yeah, there are certain moments. Oh, you're done. Yeah, there are certain moments. Oh wait, wait, he lived. Yeah, he did. All right. Great di. I'm on the side of stage. I'm utterly shocked. Oh, you're but my he's dead now. Goodness. There we go. There we go. So Easy. there are certain moments in games and in sets where. It